we'll come back to this. Um, we're, we're, we've also been talking off air just about students and about the, their situation, which is is also very troubled, I think. Yes, well, there are there are actually coronavirus cases in Exeter. Yeah, as as lots of other other places. I mean, Exeter's maybe a bit extreme from the student point of view. Well, yes, but there was lots less of places in the same. Yeah, set, set of but problems. I would like to say there was less cases before the students come back to the university. Uh, y- yes, but that's not. Um, I, don't, I don't think that's. Ju- I don't think you can just sort of allocate that situation just to students because no it's not because, it's, well, John, it's, John, I, well, let me, it's not entirely it's not entirely the students we're not blaming specifically the students we're just saying that that it's very hard to do anything practical in these circumstances it's it's difficult but what what i would what i would say is that towards the end of the last academic year the last session it became clear that a lot of teaching was moving online a lot of stuff was moving online Mm -hmm. and it was done in a sort of emergency manner and then people thought well perhaps we should design this a bit perhaps we should think about it a bit more put some resources into it and then somehow over the summer it became well perhaps everything will just go back to normal and if we have to go online we might do but we'll sort of work that out when when we have to no i agree so that all became a bit um, I, I entirely appreciate what you're saying, but we 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 want the 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 government the the somebody's agenda should be to to minimise this this virus as much as possible, whether whether that is social distancing or testing and and also i would like to say as well i would like to i would like to compliment the nhs and uh, say i think they do a wonderful job and uh, i would also like to say that the government have released their new track and trace app for covid19 and it's available on the android and app store for ios and uh, you can all download that and check in to places um, you know, coffee shops and other places using a QR code with your camera, and if you and if, and if you have COVID nineteen symptoms, you can use the app to um, go through your symptoms, check your symptoms, and then you can book a test exclusively on the COVID nineteen track and trace NHS app <laughs> provided by the government. Um, anyway, we're going well, to that's, play. That's a good thing. Yes, we're going to play. But I would just like to say as well that to use this app, you have to have Bluetooth exclusively enabled all the time, and uh, the the app collects certain data to be able to do this. So I would like to play some music now, and uh, and uh, we'll talk a bit more about this later. <laughs> <laughs> 